Hi everyone, it's Patrick from First Step here. It is Mental Health Month and I have a couple of thoughts I want to share with you. Uh, one is that at First Step we are lucky enough to have friends in high places and uh, none more significant or encouraging or important than this guy, Dr. Gabriel Mate. He's a leading thinker internationally about addiction and about mental health. I am halfway through this pretty amazing book at the moment. Uh, we've met with Gabriel once or twice and uh, he is continually stimulating our thoughts about the forefront of, of, of those disciplines I mentioned before. One really amazing takeaway from this, I'm gonna blow your mind. Uh, he believes that with most illnesses, there is no distinct line between sick and well and he includes cancer in this. We all have cancerous cells in our body and when our body's functioning well, we are able to expel those cancerous cells. It's part of cell reproduction that some of the cells go wrong. And the extension of this thought that there is no specific line between health and sickness with a lot of physical uh, conditions extends to mental health. There is no sudden line, on this side you're mentally ill, on this side you're fine. In truth, it is a continuum. And here I'll blow your mind with the second thought, there are no distinct biomarkers for any mental health condition. There is no test you can do that tests your blood or some part of your body or your brain that means you definitely have bipolar or you definitely have schizophrenia. Of course there are behaviours that make a diagnosis evident, but the key type of takeaway from all of this is that where we are on the scale is all about our experiences in life. Now we can't do much about what happened in the past, we can seek support if we have traumatic events that remain with us and, and get in the way of us being well. And we can create conditions around that enable us to be mentally as well as humanly possible. We know what they are. They're about connecting with family, connecting with friends, connecting with nature, uh, not working too hard, having special time for yourself to relax and the people that your loved ones are around. This Mental Health Month, I encourage every single one of us to just take a moment, look and think, what can I do to be the most mentally well person that I can be? Go and do it, I know I'm going to.